Okay, uh, I'll go for one more question. Uh, the red thing. <laughs> is that a question or is that just... Turn that around, what club is that? I don't know, I listen to a club. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm just curious what's on the front of that shirt. I have no idea, that's my son. <laughs> I think it's... I guess, uh, is Man United? No, it's Liverpool. It's Liverpool. Yeah. Okay, three. We have a question. I have a lot of friends in Liverpool. I like Fulham in England. But you think you're in club? Uh, I think he's he's clever. He's a good motivator. Can I tell you something? I'm being, I'm being honest here. If you ever make a film out of it, you have to play him. <laughs> I'm really not kidding. Like, you just need the glasses and you're going to go. Okay. He's a uh, Yeah. He uh, did a, we just, this story's probably known to me now, but I love this one story about what he did that one great season he had yeah. in Dortmund, where his preseason training, instead of going do the normal thing the club do. He took them all to Sweden. Do you know the story? Oh, you didn't hear this one, no? Yeah, he took the whole team to Sweden. And these are all, you know, some of them highly paid professionals. And like, what are you doing? He took them out to a, an island where there was no houses, no electricity, nothing. And I don't know if he gave them these knives. It was <laughs> in an hour. It was like, it was sort of like my character. And he, uh, he left them there for I don't know how many days. <laughs> And, uh, and they gave <laughs> them fishing poles or something. I don't know why they had to make them. Many gave them some books and some wine. And seriously, he gave them almost nothing. Right. Some blankets and that's it. And so we'll be back in a few days and come and get you. And they fished together and they, they survived yeah. together. And when they started the season, they were a team. You never heard that story. It was really incredible. Okay. Is this what Matt Ross does? Is this where you got the inspiration from? I don't know. Fan. Okay, yeah. um, okay, I got one, two, I got, okay, I got one here with one, you got I'll give super fast answers if you want to do them all. I'm terrible at short answers. Go for it. Just as you mentioned recently, the Cronenberg has a lot of trouble getting his projects made, and uh, you're seeing a lot of shit scripts out there and stuff. So really, um, That's nothing new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, have you been to create your own projects or to like work directing or anything on that side of things? Or? Uh, well, I've, I've been a producer on three of the movies I've done recently. How uh, uh, Far From Men and Everyone Has a Plan, Argentine movie, a French Arabic movie, and an Argentine Danish movie. And I enjoyed that as part of just helping the director get it done. And I've written uh, a couple of scripts, one of which I'm Hopefully we'll get to direct uh, next year. Have some might put up some money for it. Some foolhardy person. <laughs> no, but it's very, you know, the line directors want to try it. Um, understandably, they like to shape the story themselves, and I think actors do it for different reasons. And just because you've done actors, and you're necessarily going to be good directing actors. I mean, Matt Ross, the director of this movie, is a very good actor. TV series, mm. he's been in a couple so of films, right? and he's good because he's interested in actor. He's obviously that kind of actor. There are actors who just prepare their role in the air, and they come in and you have to adapt to them. They're not necessarily going to help actors, but uh, yeah, I'd like to try that. Cool. Okay, we'll do one more uh, over there with the beard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take the Oh, yeah, firstly, that was amazing, so thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm a dad of small kids, and one of the things I'm taking home from this is to remind myself that I need them as much as they need me. Because I saw that, I, I saw that in your face, maybe I'm seeing something, but that's what I'm taking. I have two favorite scenes, um, the scene at the start when the campfire where they're all reading, and the scene at the end where they're all eating and reading again, and my only question is, what was your favorite scene? I love those scenes. The scene that I've just seen the movie many times, and fortunately, each time I see it, I see something else, or I'm drawn to something else. It's the movie that that bears being seen many times. I think and that that's unusual. Uh, but I'm I'm really taken with in terms of as a whole, the scene, the way it's shot, the lighting, the emotion, where it comes from in the story. Um, the scene where the kids are looking at their mom in the bus, you know, when they 
take the lid off the coffin. And it's, it's sort of, it's, it's a microcosm of the whole story in some sense. This is the family, this is what's good about the family, their healthy attitude about death. Uh, they're expressing the, the and, and, the, and the fullness of their uh, emotional response and the difference between each of the kids. They all have a different way of dealing with it. There's something for me, sublime about that scene, the way it's played by the kids, the way it's shot, the light, everything. I mean, there's something beautiful about that. But I love those other scenes, I, and I love that final scene as well. Some people have talked about, you know, like, uh, have written about the movie. There's been a few comments that, well, that wasn't satisfying, or that it was too easy, or what's going on. I don't know, people expect to be beheaded or something. <laughs> Something, it's a, it's a beautiful an ending for different reasons. It's not overwrought in the, in the way that, say, the ending of a history of violence is, but there's something about the stillness of those two end scenes, and they both happen to be around a table, you know, a meal, um, that, that are satisfying conclusions. And they also are, in a very quiet way, this movie leaves me thinking as much as a as, as history of violence and, and other movies that and do. What happens next? Now what? You know, and I like now what kind of movies. I don't like movies that explain it all to you. I like movies where people can go out and argue about it yeah. if they're so inclined or if they're interested enough in the story. Okay, uh, we'll do one more. Yeah, we can do one more. Uh, we're starting. Good night, Anyone else? One more? Down the front. I was just wondering. Um, anyway, I'm going to wait to him. I was just wondering about all the great movies we are getting here. Do you think you would bring the exhibition over to Ireland one day?